This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to poly paint on a low poly model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a low polygon model here loaded in. So this is a quick model of the hand, so you can see it's very simplistic geometry, so basically just cubes generating the fingers here. It has 123 polys in it, so 128 points for this mesh. I have a few poly groups set up, and it also has UV coordinates. So if we go to the tool palette over here, open up the texture map tab, and go to create and do new from UV map, you can see that these are the UVs that are assigned to the model. So the question is asking about using the poly paint process inside of ZBrush to now paint on this model. So poly paint uses the vertices of your mesh to apply the color. So depending on how many vertices your model has is gonna determine what kind of fidelity you can get from poly painting. So if I turn off my polyframes here, and now make sure I have the standard brush selected, say turn on RGB and turn Z add off, come over here and just select a color. If I try to paint directly on this low polygon model, you're gonna see I am going to get color to be applied to those vertices. But since this mesh does not have many vertices, I'm not going to be able to get nice fidelity on my strokes. So if I wanna draw a really precise stroke through here, it's just not gonna happen because I simply do not have enough topology on this model. So normally to increase the topology on your model, you would end up dividing it. So if I come up to the tool palette here and open up the geometry tab, in here there's this divide button. So every time I click divide, it's going to divide the mesh. Now what this is going to do, it's going to increase the vertices of the mesh. So now if I use this poly paint again, I'm gonna get a clean result. However, as you'll notice that when I divided this low polygon model, you can see that it started shrinking or smoothing different areas. So now instead of having those kind of thick fingers I had originally, I now have these really skinny, kind of weird looking thing going on. So this is definitely not what I want. So there is a little workflow you can do that's going to allow you to keep that low polygon silhouette and still give you enough vertex points to paint on. So I'm just going to undo this model back to the original version. And the first thing I want to do with this is I want to divide it, but I want to divide it without that smoothing happening. So if I go to the tool palette over here and go to the geometry tab, there's this SMT switch. Now when this is active, it's going to apply that smoothing to your mesh. So if I simply turn this off and now click divide, you're going to see that my active point count is still increasing. However, you're not getting that smoothing effect happening on the surface. So I still have this model looking like the low resolution version, However, I have a lot more vertices on it now. So now if I come through and start painting on this, you're gonna see that I'm gonna get a nice clean stroke and I still have that model looking low res. Now this model has been divided now, so it is currently two million polygons. And so this is not really a low resolution model anymore. However, since our original model had a set of UVs already established, we can take the texture painting that we do on this mesh, transfer it back to a texture map, and then apply that texture map to the original low polygon version. So here I have a version of the hand here that has a little more painting done to it. Now as you're painting, if you don't want this hard edged look, you can come over here and also change your material. So I can change this to say something like flat color. And now you're just gonna see the pure RGB color on your mesh. So this is gonna allow you just to paint with a little more clarity. Now I've gone through and used just the standard brush here and just started applying some paint. You can color pick as well by pressing C on your keyboard. So just hover over a color and press C and that's gonna allow you to color pick. And then you can come through and start painting different details out on your mesh. Since this model has that 2 million polygons there, I can get quite a bit of detail here. And you can use Spotlight or anything else inside a ZBrush to paint these exactly how you want. So you can just come through and describe these forms. You can also change your focal shift if you want your stroke to be a little bit harsher. So just coming through and just painting on your mesh. So here we have a quick military pig glove, which is a patrol incident glove. And here we just have that glove as a simplified colored version. So after you have your poly painting done on your high resolution model, we just need to transfer this. So go to the tool palette again, go all the way back down to the bottom to your texture map tab and just open that up. And instead of doing that new from UV map, we're gonna do new from poly paint this time. So it's gonna take the poly paint information or the color that is in each of the vertices, and it's going now to transfer that to the UV. So if you click that button, you're gonna get a new texture map created here. I can now clone that texture. And by pressing clone, it's just going to take that texture and store it in the texture palette. 
Now I can go back to the top here and I'm just gonna import in my original hand model. So the low resolution version of this hand here that did not have any subdivisions applied. So I'm just gonna click poly mesh 3D here and just go to load tool. Now I'm just gonna open that back up. So here we have our original version here. Now I'm gonna go back to that texture map tab and click this and then grab that texture we just created. And as you can see, here we have our low resolution version of the model and it now has this texture map applied and it's captured all those details. So that is a process you can use inside of ZBrush here to take low resolution geometry, divide it up without SMT on, so turn SMT off, which is going to give you enough polygons on your mesh that's gonna allow you to use that poly paint functionality to paint on that model. And then you can just take the color information from that and transfer it back to a texture map and then apply it to your low resolution mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.